Hi, my name is Brittany Sampson. And my name is Juliana Charles Brown. And we are Senior Associates on the Quality Performance Assessment Team here at the Center for Collaborative Education in Boston. Mm. We would love to come to South by Southwest to speak with other educators around the history of standardized tests. Because the truth is, it's racist. It always has been. Yeah. So we're going to open our conversation by talking about the, the close ties between eugenics and the origination of the standardized testing movement. We'll discuss how very little has changed and how standardized tests are actually doing exactly what they were always meant to do. So they produce the achievement gaps that the eugenicists designed them to produce. And on top of that, there are some really serious negative externalities for teachers and students in the classroom. It narrows the curriculum. It forces teachers to teach in a way that may be out of alignment with the way that they know is best for their students. And we see that this is impacting everything. Um, college professors are talking about how this is impacting the quality of work that students are prepared to do in college. We're seeing that there are too few people prepared to take on those roles that we really need in the 21st century world. Um, and kids hate going to school, and we can't get enough teachers in there. And not good. It is not good. So listen, what we want to do is we want to come down to Austin. We want to talk to you, host a campfire. We'll make some s'mores. <laughs> It'll be awesome. And then we'll unpack this and really start to plan for the future because we do have hope and we do have plans and we think that there are some really concrete ways that we can put the power back into the hands of teachers to really step up and create assessments that are liberatory, engaging, um, and transformative. Hope to see you there.